Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Thursday after the Wednesday, which was the inauguration of Mr. Biden, now President Biden. A whole slew of uh, executive orders. Um, none of them looked super positive for business. Pretty good for climate immigration if you're an immigrant which of course I am here in Switzerland I'm an immigrant so uh, I have my own co cognitive bias on that issue um, but stock shrugged it off and just flew flew higher look at that bang Whew. crazy town up to 38.59 now we're Looks like she's turning a little bit here, but uh, we're in bid territory. Should be support at the previous all-time high, which is 38.26 today. Um, looks bid. Not touching it, uh, just looks bid. Gold, also, yesterday was a screwy day. Wow, look, you mean, look at this here. Down, banged, 30 bang up to 64 sideways and now 75 74 and a half the high through these highs gold looks um gold looks okay although trading gold um is for the brave or the stupid um very very wild really uh tough intraday vol I mean, I have empathy for gold traders. Like, how do you stay long or short in these two hours? You're short, looks fine, bang. You're long, it looks fine, bang. Both guys got fucked here. Everyone got fucked. Um, might be support at 60. Not touching gold right now. Bitcoin. Between 30 and 40. Uh, looks offered at 30. Looks bid at 40. Not doing much right here. Euro, middle of nowhere. Uh, went down to 2080 yesterday. That was a weird move down to that 2080 area. I don't. I didn't really realize what. I didn't understand what was going on there. Maybe it was just stopping out the day before's longs. Um, not much to do here. 120, 130. Cable didn't like it at 137.22 dropped 100 points now we're back euro sterling shorts still appeal to us uh, core short euro sterling looks looks the way so this may stay relatively bid but as always in cable it seems most of the time you want to sell high ones sell reach highs and buy reach lows which is not typically the way we trade so um, but um, 09 the high here today there will be stops above 22 again just like yesterday there were stops above 10 and there is clear air I mean there's really no resistance sort of till 140 so maybe this thing I don't know it's one of the reasons we like core short euro sterling is because there's less resistance in cable top side than euro top side. Let's go to euro sterling. Uh, trading at 52 now. The high has been 70. This is the low. So yesterday, 66 was the breakdown. Uh, squeezed back up to 80, stopping out all of the uh, break traders who left tight stops. Now uh, back down to 52. Um, this looks okay on the short side. Dollar yen on its knees. Bang quietly just lower muted ranges not super interesting to trade but just quietly lower um, that's not risk off folks that's weaker dollar so it makes me think uh, if you look at the gold price if you look at dollar yen um, not so much euro yet but if you look at Aussie which is reaching to the stars Seven triple seven. Uh, I had dollar max. 
I give you a ribbon if you if you survived the short side in dollar max yesterday. That was tricky, right? I mean, technically, it never traded above 66, but there was all sorts of slop between 59 and 66. Um, now here we are at basically 56. It's gone absolutely nowhere. Uh, you got to wonder if um, short is the wrong side here. Even though we've broken through the year's highs, this is not accelerating at all. This is not behaving like something that uh, needs to go left. It's quite a careless left-hand side. So be careful if you're short. Uh, be professional with your stops now. If you had the balls to survive yesterday, you're actually probably not that professional anyway, but um, you know, this thing back above, let's say this high, 66, something is, is, is wrong on the short side. Talked about Aussie, Euro Sterling. Should make a new low through 38 eventually here. Um, let's see. Kiwi Yen, um, one of the more famous bankers. He put on long Kiwi Yen a couple days ago. Uh, at the time, I thought it looked pretty stupid, but now it looks pretty smart. 74.30 should be support. Um, these guys are probably not going to kill this thing down here, so that's important to know. Um, Kiwi Yen. And then Dollar Cad. Pretty hawkish BOC yesterday, chatting it up, hawkish chat. Um, 126.06 bounced up to 50. Now we're retesting 06 again, weaker dollar. Um, looks like weaker dollars in play here, no doubt about it. Finally, ZB. This is a sell. Um, perhaps there'll be some stops above 169.22, but between 169.15 and 170.15, uh, you want to sell ZB today. Um, going to be a lot of bonds issued. Oh yeah, and crude. We traded it from the short side yesterday, very, um, tricky, much like the gold price. You can see down to 35, up to 85, down to 24, up to 60. Um, should be resistance up at 53.30. <clears throat> Tough to get really balls deep short oil um, with this risk on tenor out there. So just sort of scalping on the short side. Uh, we don't believe this risk on is going to last. Eventually, these democratic policies are going to come home to roost, and equities are going to get chiseled. So, this is our premise. Also, on the uh, crude side, although supply looks like it's going to be hampered with all of these environmental policies, um, we just don't think Democrats are good for fossil fuels in general. Um, so... I don't know, another reason to short crude. Anyway, you know where to kill this thing, 54 bucks, you have to kill it. So mind your averages, um, but we like left-hand side crude. Anyway, not a ton to do at the open here. Short, uh, core short euro sterling looks, looks to be interesting. Otherwise, oh yeah, one last one. If the dollar does turn, dollar Swiss, got all the way up to 20 again yesterday. This 25 level, 89, 20, 25, is, is uh, important still. So if the dollar does go bid, maybe equities get slammed, or I don't know why it would go bid now. But if it does, this is your interesting level. Otherwise, we're focused on euro sterling. All right, talk to you guys tomorrow. Ciao.